Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Just Terry being me. Before I forget, before I forget, don't forget to share, 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 subscribe, comment, and like. And don't forget to push the bell notification button so you can get all my videos. Today, we are having, I have a turkey leg. A turkey I mean a turkey leg a chicken leg macaroni and cheese and collard greens and guess what the sauce is be love sauce I love it it is delicious and very addictive <laughs> sorry about that let me take a thumbnail There you go. Yeah. And to drink, I have some water. I'm thirsty already. Kind of hot. Before we get into conversation and this food, let me say prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Please bless the hands that made it which are mine and help it to make me healthy and fine amen 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 okay i want to taste i bought a spoon so i can spoon the onions on my turkey i love it i love it mm -mm -mm. and i made it just like she said to make it with the coca-cola And the in the uh, pickled ginger. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Something is in my eye. Mm, mm, mm. Now, as usual, I am hungry. Mm. Mm. That's some macaroni and cheese. There's three cheese and macaroni and cheese. The three cheeses are cheddar, mozzarella, and Velveeta. I'm good. I didn't have macaroni shells, so I used the pinna shells. Mm. The collard greens. My husband, he cooked the chicken and the turkey uh, legs. They're small turkey legs, but I, I don't mind. I like the small turkey legs. The big ones are really tough to me. But he put them on the grill. Taste the chicken. Oh, I got the Mao um, Beloved sauce, the Mao one. 
next time I'm gonna um, try the spicy. Said I love spicy, so I'm sure I can handle it. What I want is B Love's hot sauce. It looks so good, especially when Walt is using it. <laughs> it looks so good. So, soul food, do you think soul food has to just be like African-American, like collard greens, macaroni and cheese, fried chicken, barbecue chicken, or can it be from any culture? Me personally think it can be from any culture. Italian food is soul food, Chinese food is soul food. It's to me, soul food is how the food makes you feel. And it's about family. When you're all together eating soul food, you're together as a family. And it makes you feel good. Speaking of culture, I took a DNA, ancestry DNA test. I was shocked at the results. Let me find it. I'll go back to it in a minute. It's loading. I just got one, a test for me and my husband, but I just recently ordered, I'm waiting for it to come through the mail, for my twins, my 19-year-old twins, Aaron and Tiana, excuse me. They, um, I wanna see how much of me is in them and how much of their dad is in them. <laughs> If it works that way. <laughs> hmm. I'm looking at my tablet. It's taking a while to load. For some reason. Well, maybe it's the other one. Okay, let me try this one. I know that I am. 24% European. And that, to me, is a large number. And I thought I was more a Native American because growing up I was told, oh, your, your great-grandmother is a full Cherokee. Your grandmother is a full blooded Native American. She grew up on a grandmother on my father's side, grew up on a reservation. So I'm like, hey, I must really have some Native American in my genes.
I was wrong. story let's see okay it says that I am 31% Nigerian 20% uh, camp it says Cameroon Congo and southern Bantu people and then, okay, it's 17% in from England, 11% been in, in Togo. I have no idea what that is. I think it's African. Yep, A African ethnic groups. Okay. Yep, it's African. Mali. That sounds Hawaiian, but it's African. <laughs> um, Sweden, 3%. Mali was 7%. Sweden, 3%. Ireland and Scotland, 3%. Indigenous Americas from the north. That's 3%, which I'm proud of. I'm, I'm proud of my African heritage, but... I'm very proud of my Native American heritage since I was told all my life that I had some in my blood. So I looked up Indigenous Americas, Americas from the North, and they are the, what is it? The, how do you say the, hold on. Oh, Iroquois, the Iroquois people, the Iroquois Native American people, they came from the Northeast region, the Northeast region. So, I'm happy about that, especially since my grandmother, one of my grandmothers that was supposed to be full-blooded Indian, from North Carolina was raised on, I believe, on a reservation in North Carolina. So, and I have got, I'm Ghana, 2%, Senegal, 1%, which is I'm assuming African. Yeah, African nation. Germanic, G Germanic, Germanic Europe, which is 1%. So I guess I'm 1% German, Dutch and German. And 1% African hunters and gatherers. So pretty much... When you total everything, I'm 24% European. But my father swear out I'm 50% Caucasian. It goes up every time I talk to him. And African, I am 31, 51, 62, 69. Eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-three percent. That's pretty good. That's good. I like eighty-three percent. I like that. I really like that. Huh. 
know how. Growing up, he was like, "Where you get all that good hair from?" Oh, I got Indian in my blood. Meaning Native American. It's to say Indian, but that's not the right way to say it. Native American blood. Not knowing only had 3% in there. Hmm. The hair most likely came from that European part. But anyway. Mm. I got an idea for one of the channels. What's her name? Ms. Katrina G. Where she made a dish for each of her regions that because she did a DNA test. So she did an uh, a dish each day. I think it was every day. I have to look at it again. To um to represent the region, each region in her DNA. So, I think I want to do that. But I don't know if I'm going to just put African in one, one dish or pick it like Niger Nigeria, Mali, like that. The ones with the bigger numbers. Because I'm sure in each of the regions, because they're in different there are different parts of the continent. I think I'm saying that right. That they they have different um, foods and, and, and you know and recipes. So I think I'll, I'll I might do that. The and I'm not gonna go down into little little. Well, I might. I don't know. Cause Sweden, I might do a Swedish dish. A Scottish dish. I wonder if they're different or the same. And most definitely do a Native American dish. Hmm. A friend of mine, she said she was part Native American. And every time we have, we have um, uh, a church function, it's called International Dinner. She made something from some type of dish from the Native American uh, region. And I miss her. She just passed away. Her name is Sandy Kenya. And um, that reminds me of her. So I'm going to make a Native American dish to honor her. Mmm. I love smoked turkey. Love, love, love smoked turkey. Thirsty. I need to do a seafood boil, huh? I think that's gonna be next, the seafood boil. Hi, son! Hello. <laughs> yes, do a seafood boil, please. Do a seafood boil? Yeah. Yeah, I will. <sighs> I know I barely ate anything, but I'm really full. And I don't want to stuff my stomach. I don't want to. I don't want to stretch it. I tell you that that story about me and my stomach some other day. So, thank you for coming. And remember, live every day as if it were, as if it were your last. Okay, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it this time. I said it in the beginning, but I'm going to say it again. Remember to share, share, share. Make sure you press that like button. Comment at the bottom.
so I can shout you out. I want to do some shout outs. And please push the notification button so you can to all so you can get my videos. Okay? Bye. Peace.